Wednesday the 2nd of October and woke up to go and walk the dogs in the morning and I couldn't get over this actual sunrise. It looked like the whole horizon was on fire. Just breathtaking. So it has in fact been a um, pretty steady, sort of boring, mundane couple of weeks really. Um, I did however have um, my pre-op appointment through, which is quite promising, and it was for the 11th of October. Um, but uh, we were actually driving somewhere the other day, Sandy and I, and my phone went. I answered the phone and it was the hospital to ask if I was free the next morning at 9.30. Obviously I said yes, so I've had my pre-op, that all went well, so no problem at all, so I'm waiting for my appointment now for my operation. Fingers crossed it's going to be in the next few weeks and fingers crossed it's going to help. It's got to help, it's not going to do any harm, so looking forward to that. Um, yesterday as well, I actually went for a job interview at a local place, not going to say where, but at a local, uh, very local, five minute walk from uh, from the marina. So fingers crossed for that, but having said that, they were interviewing several people, um, that they told me they were interviewing several, several people, and you can sort of see their face drop, and they said to me, have you got any medical uh, things that you, you feel we should know about? And I had to tell them about my eyes. Yes. So... You could sort of see their faces drop a little bit, so I don't really think I'm in the running for it. But they said they'll uh, they'll let me know either way by Monday. So I've got my fingers crossed. It'll be great to uh, to get the job. I'd love the job. Um, obviously, I'd love the job. It's a full time uh, job as well, so uh, it would be very good. But I'm not too hopeful between me and you. Not too hopeful, but fingers crossed. But. Uh, Apart from that, really, everything's sort of uh, been running relatively smoothly on board Chuggabug. Nothing major to happen apart from, well, it wasn't major, but yesterday we were expecting our neighbours. There's, uh, there's a lovely little boat there. We were expecting them to come and join us uh, yesterday. And uh, unfortunately, when they were on their way here, their car broke down. So he's took it to the garage this morning. I have spoke to Kevin earlier on. Um, He's took it to the garage and he's still waiting to hear from them. So uh, hopefully we might see them later on today. Um, so fingers crossed with that. Let's hope it's nothing serious with the car. But uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted if anything else is happening. I know we're getting ready for a storm here on the marina later on today. Um, there's uh, a storm. I can't remember the name of the hurricane, but it's the backlash of a hurricane uh, that was hitting the States. Well, we're getting what's left of it. Obviously, it's not going to be as bad as that, but they have forecast quite severe winds for later on. So uh, we're all getting ready for that. So very wet Friday, the 4th of October. Um, I've just shared quite a special moment and I'm going to share a little bit of it with you. About five weeks ago, um, Sandy and myself and Kevin as well from the boat next door were sat in the boathouse enjoying a drink and there was a gentleman sat on the table next to us. Um, he did join in our chat and indeed we sat with him for some time and had a lovely chat with him. The gentleman's name is Malcolm. And I'm sure he won't mind me uh, at least telling you that he's 72 years old and he just bought his first boat to actually live aboard. Um, he's going to live aboard it due to life circumstances as boaters normally have a little story um, behind the reasons uh, why we're, we actually find ourselves on a boat. And uh, Malcolm has his own story. That's between him and Malcolm. Um, but he finds himself at 72 years old on his first boat as a liverboard. That was five weeks ago. Um, he's used that time in five weeks to do some work on the boat. She's a beautiful boat, um, which you'll see very shortly. Beautiful boat, and he's done some work and actually got a, uh, all ready for continuous cruising. Now, he has picked a strange time of the year when uh, most other boaters are mooring up, finding their winter moorings, or indeed next month will be finding their winter moorings 
uh, due to the canals will have stoppages and of course the bad weather through the winter but no he's chose this time of year to go continuous cruising and uh, we wish him the best of luck with it but uh, this morning as I was cleaning over in the boathouse Malcolm came over uh, to say goodbyes to everyone over there and to have a quick coffee before he set on his merry way so uh, come and come with me and and share this very special moment And here is Malcolm's lovely boat, Westmoreland. She was built in 1988 and indeed is a coal craft boat and 50 foot long. Absolutely beautiful condition. I can only imagine how Malcolm was feeling this morning. I know that Sandy and I are dreaming of this moment and we can't wait to go continuous cruising. But as Malcolm is on his own on this boat, I'm wondering what was going through his head when he was untying these lines. Now Malcolm is a, a member of a club and the gentlemen in this club have made him that lovely planter to go on top of his boat and I'm sure he'll remember them as he looks at all his herbs and flowers as he goes boating. Now as Malcolm was about to leave I walked on ahead to the bridge at Tattenhall Marina just so I can film Malcolm leaving the marina for the very last time. He was going to head west and head down towards Ellesmere Port, down towards the boat museum so as he can turn round and then do the whole length of the Shropshire Union. Indeed that's what Sandy and I are dreaming of doing. <coughs> Good luck to you, Malcolm. Bye-bye. Thanks for all your help. Aye, take care, mate. Take care. See you again. Yes, you will. Don't drink all the ale in Chester, will you? <laughs> take care, mate. Yes, Malcolm hired his first boat back in 1978 and always dreamt of living aboard. And now he's fulfilling his dreams and heading out. Good luck to you, Malcolm. So, how nice was that? Um, yeah, lovely fella, lovely gentleman, so be sure that if you see Malcolm on Westmoreland, please say hello, and uh, he'd love to say hello to you. Yeah, quite nice, nice to see a fella living his dreams, and, uh, and why not too, wishing him the best of luck. So that's it. Nice short little vlog just to mark Malcolm's departure from the marina. So uh, once again, good luck. It's Friday afternoon, Sandy's in the shower and I'm off to work. Everybody have a good weekend and we'll catch you next time on Chugabug.